Ty's getting all stressed out now because he's worried we're going to wreck his quad. You got to you got to exude confidence in this frame. That's what's going to sell the frames. The problem is I have confidence in myself. It's you, but I'm just not. That's the point. The point is that I'm going to crash the shit out of it, and then it's not going to break, and it's going to look awesome, and people are going to be I impressed hope, and buy I hope it. All it breaks is this camera. That's why. I think. <laughs> what's up, YouTube? Today y'all right. gonna learn something. We're gonna learn something. <laughs> I'm Joshua Bardwell. I'm Tech FPV. That's Tech FPV. And this is Tax Frame. And Tech, I gotta tell you, I don't do a lot of frame reviews anymore because I look at most frames and I go, eh, it's a frame. But this frame's got a little something special that appealed to me. And that's why we are here at the First Tennessee Pavilion mm -hmm. in your hometown of Chattanooga. Yes. We're gonna fly this, we're gonna talk about this, and I think I'm gonna try to crash and break it. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tech, so let's break this frame down. It is manufactured by Flynoceros. Yes. Which, um, if you don't know Flynoceros, they're a pretty cool frame manufacturer. What were you going for when you worked with Flynoceros to design this frame? Uh, I personally like the solid bottom plate, and this is the first solid bottom plate frame that uh, Flynoceros has ever done. Okay. And then I guess it's the Squished X. Right, so Squished X. Yes. It's wider than it is front to back means you frame uh, your props are out of view with the camera mm -hmm. good for cinematic freestyle or just anybody who doesn't like the look of props and this is I think this is the thing that really drew me to this frame is it's got vertical plates on the side like many flynoceros frames do but the way that it c attaches and opens up is so freaking cool yes it's so freaking cool like this is I think the biggest problem with vertical plate frames is how do they attach to the base plate? Yeah, that's something that when we were designing this, that was what we had to go through mostly was, and the testing was that part right there. Right. The way it mounts. It's often a weak spot. Yes. Some, some frames solve that by having vertical arms, but then that gets weird too. This is really the best of both worlds. And the way that it attaches is, we've got these, is this TPU? Mm hmm So these are TPU sort of bushings. They stick through the bottom plate. They've got a standoff in them, mm -hmm. and then, that is amazing. <laughs> um, it works really well. Yeah. And then it like soft mounts your, your, your battery and your GoPro is like all one Exactly. that's independent from the bottom part. Exactly. And see, normally I would expect that this screw hole here would be a weak spot, because you don't have a ton of carbon there. Mm -hmm. And when you get a front end impact, I would expect that to just break pretty quickly. But with the TPU here, giving some vibration isolation and some shock absorption. I'm super impressed with this. So you've actually got one of these that's built. Let's take a closer look at yours that's actually built up. Just sort of give us a tour of that one. Okay. So this is, uh, of course, the Skull V3 TAC Edition. I run the KISS V2 flight controller, KISS 32 amp ESCs. I'm currently in the middle of testing motors, so I'm like not dead set on a motor yet. These are the V3, I mean, sorry, these are the S3 HQ props, tack edition. You just take the pink ones and throw them away and put the green ones on the back. Uh, running a crossfire with the Tramp VTX. Let me get it. I want to get a closer look because you can see that the bottom plate doesn't extend out the back. So, how does that stuff sort of that stuff mounts to the top? Okay, so yeah, uh, a friend of mine designed all this, this 3D printed part right here and it allows me to put the zip ties on here, holds my Axie and my Crossfire a Motor T, and then I'm able to like, just kind of like zip tie everything in a little pouch back here on the back. So it does extend out slightly past here, so you don't quite have the full height mm -hmm. for, your, for your stack. You basically get a too high stack in here, right? More uh, or less. Yeah, okay, so I would like to clear something up. This is the TAC Edition V3, there will be like a regular V3 that has the detachable arms. Mm -hmm. And you can get, this is the low deck high. There will be what they call a high boy, mm -hmm. where you'll have eight millimeters more clearance in here. Okay. If you need that. Mm -hmm. And this is the 30, I believe, 30 wide. And you can get, uh, I think a 40 millimeter wide. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the one that's for the new DJI I see. stuff that's coming out. Oh, there's a DJI version coming yes. out as well. Yes. Okay. But this is just, this is my 
signature, my setup, and it'll be sold this way. Mm -hmm. But if you want a high boy, you can just get the high boy sides. It That's, does have 20 by 20 mounting holes uh -huh. that, uh, those, that would fit inside the, the walls. Definitely. Okay. Oh yeah, a taller stack would fit that way. Yeah. Here's the part I didn't tell you about. When I reviewed Stingy's frame, I saw that. I did a video with him where he did a trick and then I tried to copy the trick. Okay. And I crashed and you know, we tested the durability of the frame and we made an awesome freestyle video. This is your home turf. You know all the ins and outs of this location. <laughs> I want to do the same thing with you. Okay. There's only one problem. Where's yours? I haven't built up this frame yet. Oh, I don't gosh. have one. <laughs> uh, well, I have two, so. So we're going to fly yours. <laughs> yes. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Am I doing power that? loop the X. Power any the any X. part of that X. It's just a tighter power loop. Yep, that X. I better get a better lineup than that. See? Well, I would like to be centered with it, you know? Yeah. Woo! Piece of cake. That was smooth. Let me try. That was smooth, dude. See, I'm not used to your throttle. I'm not used to your rates. Uh, we're running 5S. 2300 kV. I'm just going to send it and cross my fingers. Send it, bro. Hell yeah. Oh, no. Oh. That does not count. <laughs> it recovered really well. Here it goes. Send it. There you go. Did I go dude, through the little dude, one? you went through the top top. Step it up like <laughs> Wow. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna do it again. Gonna... I went through the what did I go through? What did you Did I go through the top? Did I go through here? <gasps> did I go through that? Oh my god. Oh my god, no I didn't. <laughs> Alright. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna see it one more time. There you go. Alright, here's what I got for awesome. you, Tech. Okay. Here's what I got for you. Oh! All right, now. A little precision. Hell yeah! Whoa, man! I think you're. I think you're, you're starting to lock. I think you're starting to lock that kiss. Might have ruined your props. I couldn't find the disarm. Why don't you <laughs> give me a couple loops through those little holes? Okay. Woo! I like to claim that gap was skill. It was mostly luck. I wasn't sure, I was trying to just sight off the ceiling so I could go, just basically fly along the ceiling and I did it a little better than I intended. But I couldn't do that twice to save my life. Okay. All right, Tech. I don't care which ones you go through. All right. Just do like three of them in a row with the power Three loop. of them in a row? I did three, I did two, so you gotta beat me. You like grannied through them though. Show me how it's done. Show me how it's done. Do it better. No, I power loop though. Well, you went through like that first. Okay. And then you did that last. That's true, I did that last. <laughs> Try again. That's what I want to see is them crashes. I want to see them crashes. Woo, there you go. Ah, you're still up. I missed the loop. You're still up. and clean. Woo! <laughs> that was nice. Do I gotta do it again? No, that was good. I'll give you that. Okay, cool. Alright, show me what show me your next trick. What do uh, you got for me? Uh, let's see here. What do you got for me? I gotta do a little check over here after this. You got one outside. Okay. Alright, big loop over the top. Oh you made it. All right, is that it? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I can, I can top you. I think I can top you on that. You can top me. I'll okay. try and do a nice power loop though. All right. Okay. Okay. I gotta remember where your disarm is. Right there, yeah. Where else would it be? I don't know. I got a janky crop. See, which way did you go? This way? Yeah. You went back through though. Well, I turned, I just made sure there was nothing in the way over there. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got a south on her, man. Holy! Shoo shoo. It's okay. It's okay. Where did where'd you come in? You came out. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You came in from over here. Yeah. Okay. I still don't quite know your, you know, your your throttle and stuff. Let's give it lots of it. No, I need more up tilt. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, I gotta throw you're it more. Have to like hold on the throttle a little bit. Okay, okay. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh shoot! I'm making a nervous. It's okay. Getting it's on okay. top of this building is not easy. <laughs> I ain't gonna leave it up there. I ain't gonna leave it up there. Dead. One more time? You want me to bring it in? Uh, give it another. Give it another shot. I just gotta hold it longer. Yes. There you go. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> hey, we're breaking stuff. Awesome. Okay, I did loop it. I tried to come back in through that little hole, but I, that's it. Your your up tilt's I'm different than I'm expecting. I'm glad you didn't do it because I was gonna make fun of you. What's that? Make it through that hole? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna make it through that hole. I'm setting the next trick. Oh god. Let's go see how your flash pulls out. Yeah, I understand. That was a much bigger power loop than I expected. There's no toss. You just gotta fly through the whole thing. This is way more difficult. <laughs> but there's no it's there's no skill in it. It's just like raise the throttle and wait. What's the skill? What's the skill in that? Just a big old massive power loop. I mean, granted, I failed to do it like three times in a row. I'm blaming that on the fact that this is quads, uh, tax quad, not mine. And I'm just not used to it. Base plate looks good. It's the wrong quad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks great. Wow, it's barely even been crashed. Is your GoPro lens smashed? Did we do that? It's been smashed. Okay. It was smashed. So how's it hard. holding up? It's base plate looks clean there's a crack i did here like weeks ago yeah right there okay. so that well was it's always going to break somewhere eventually i did that like yeah that. these skids you got it really decked out do you know the weight on this I off no those up your head? i don't even care it's pretty decked out i like right. how it feels so here's what i got go ahead and get me a battery i'm okay. going to show you i'm going to show you what i got for you i don't think we're crashing enough <laughs> i don't think we're crashing enough i gotta there's t there's two ways to get more crashes and one is with more speed and the other is with more technicality. So, I'm gonna go look over down here and see if this is gonna. Because I'd rather not do this one too close to us. But I'm not sure that the. No, okay. Let me just see if there's another one that I can do it on. Damn, I can't. I'm drifting to the side. I don't know why. <laughs> oh no, that's an X. I don't want that one. Do it with one with an X. No, the X is gonna be okay. I'll give you your choice. You can have that one, or oh, the cricket. <laughs> can I do the cricket even? That one's got wires all in it. Yeah, where's the one? That one's got wires. Yeah, that seems, seems to be the best one. To I don't know if I can do the cricket. Telemetry <laughs> lost. I think you I think you want to finish this this little stunt up. So if you can go up through and come back down uh -huh. through. I win. You win, and we will stop trying to break your quad. Okay. I couldn't quite get that. I mean, with time, I'm sure I would have gotten it. Y'all know I would have gotten it, right? But I just kept drifting because of the wind. I have no so idea what the this is going to be the last trick for the video, I have no idea. and Attack's going to try it until he gets it. Gasping for air. Where was it? That's that was the one, I think. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, I can't even get in there. All right, just 
Give it lots of throttle. No, <laughs> just trying to make you crash. Give it lots. You've got to like really throw it up through there. Yeah. Telemetry lost. You right. won. I guess you got to keep trying. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tech. You gonna get this, or are you just? Okay, here is we this go. just gonna be the end, first, of, your, first the end try, of your day? You're editing that other one out. No way, man. <laughs> Wiz, we gotta show them the crash. First try. Here we go. Remember, the more you crash, the better your frame looks. But the worse you look as a pilot. It's your call. Oh, okay. Well, huh? I don't know. No. <laughs> which is come gonna, on? Which is gonna sell more frames? Oh gosh. Well, there's a hole back there. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, you know, you could get close to it. Going up through it, you could get close to it. If you fling back, it's tighter coming did back. I get, yeah. Did I get close to it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, like right, you could start from there. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Oh boy, oh boy. That is, I think you went, oh, what's happened? The GoPro fell off. Oh. I think you went through. The GoPro fell off. I think you went through. I think you went through. I Fail I mean, I mean, we could, we're gonna try and do it better, but I think you went we? through. <laughs> Did you do it? Do you want to take that? You got insurance on this? I do. Best Buy Geek Squad insurance. Don't even matter. <laughs> it still works, dude. <laughs> Broke the battery strap. How's the quad? Quad's fine. Can't say much for the Immortal T or the Prox. It really, it really is fine. I mean, like I'm looking for cracks like right here in the front. Hang on, is there a? I'm missing a screw right here. You got a screw come out. Can't well, that, screw come that out. happens. That, and the, these screws are screwed. That's build quality. Yeah. No, that's it's not me. <laughs> I mean, that's me. Not. It hasn't, it hasn't got a bit of damage. No. It hasn't got a bit of damage. Like Guys, that is car. the <laughs> Flynoceros Skull V3 this is the TAC edition. Yes. If you want interchangeable arms and you don't want to support TAC, then buy the, buy the regular Skull V3. I understand. If you don't like a solid bottom plate or a squish tag, yeah. completely understand. I like this. Anyway, thank you very much, TAC, for letting me crash your quad. Thank you. I, I'm really impressed. It really held up well. Awesome. Wait, what's this crack right here? <laughs> thank you very much, man. Thank you. Happy flying, everybody. Link in the description.